Hey everybody and welcome to my little pottery mold adventure. My name is Amber and this is the Thanksgiving series. Yes, we are celebrating Thanksgiving. It is unheard of, I know, but I have such a fun mold and so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And there's actually a little bonus mold that totally makes this the most thanksgiving key episode you could ever dream of. <laughs> so let's get started. I opened up the little mold, which actually doubles as a vase, it says, which is a little confusing. You'll see it later on, but I went ahead and cleaned it up, put a rubber band on and got it ready to pour. This mold is so interesting because it says it can either be a vase or napkin rings. So, I mean, it has a flat side, so it's not all the way around. And it's just, I, I don't know that I see it as a vase, but um, I'm trying to decide if I should make one as a vase just because it says it on the side and just kind of like see <laughs> where it takes me, but I'm not sure because I mean it's like closed on the bottom so that's like really interesting but I think I'm just gonna like slice this like bread. Slicing this mold like bread was not as easy as you would think. I think that I should have left it in there longer. It was very finicky and it also didn't feel very even with it slicing off that bottom piece which is the confusing part with it being napkin rings like why would that bottom piece be on there so i don't know it is kind of weird that it could be a vase or napkin rings but you'll have to let me know if you would like me to try out the vase this little guy has made his way into the napkin ring lineup i don't want to say how but all i'll say is be on the lookout for him later on during the holidays and you can see where he came from but for now he's gonna be the head turkey in the lineup of napkin rings and i love him this little turkey napkin ring definitely is the star of the show <laughs> i'm absolutely in love with it so I actually decided to paint it something completely off of Thanksgiving colors. And that's because I think I've decided to use this set for a Thanksgiving breakfast for me and my kids. I think it will be such a fun little tradition to make them something that is just us for Thanksgiving to go ahead and try to implement some of those epic Thanksgiving vibes that I'm constantly trying to seek. Um, before they grow up and I kind of have Thanksgiving in my hands. I decided to make this really lighthearted and fun, something really bright and cheery, something that would just be unexpected on a Thanksgiving table. So that periwinkle color along with a really like mauvey pink and an orange just to kind of tie in a little bit of those Thanksgiving fall colors. So I did little flowers, little dots, and then a little checkerboard quilt on its tail, which I think was absolutely adorable. And I think that overall, this little set is so cute. It's almost like the big turkey and its little eggs <laughs> with its babies inside or something. Um, so I just thought it was really cute. And adding the little scallop at the bottom was like a cherry on top. And here is a final look at the little turkey set before it goes into the kiln for its glaze fire. And I actually ended up painting two different sets. One that's more of a traditional 
turkey look and then my periwinkle set for breakfast so you're gonna have to let me know which is your favorite and here it is the traditional turkey which does have a little blue flower around its eye because you know i gotta add a little bit of whimsy <laughs> and i did some flowers on its tail and i actually really love the napkin rings that go with this one i love the color that it kind of came out to but i think that when i look at them side by side i am definitely pulled to the periwinkle set i just think it's absolutely adorable in every way and it genuinely has me looking forward to that Thanksgiving breakfast and thinking about how I can make it really magical and kind of like a new memory and a new tradition for this year. So let me know which one is your favorite. And thanks for hanging out with me on this little Thanksgiving series. It was so much fun and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.